Here we're looking at your dorsal columns, which includes proprioception, vibration, and discriminative touch or fine touch. It is the same pathway for both your upper body and your lower body. Your upper body consists of your arms, your posterior one third of the head, and it is T6 and above. Lower body T7 and below. It includes your legs, feet, and whatever else. So let's say you start your legs, you travel ipsilaterally through your fasciculus gracilis, you synapse at your nucleus gracilis, which is in your lower medulla, you decusate at your internal ocular fibers, so you cross midline, now you're called your, the medial lemniscus, you travel through your uh, medulla, pons, midbrain, and then you synapse at your VPL, also called your ventro posterior lateral nucleus of your thalamus, you travel through your pelic, or your posterior limb internal capsule, and then you synapse at your postcentral gyrus, and it's the exact same pathway for your upper body. Now we're looking at your anterior two-thirds of the head. It has the same endpoint, post-central gyrus. It's just a little different of a pathway. So we enter through your trigeminal ganglion, and then we synapse almost immediately at your chief sensory nucleus of five, right here, and which is looking at your pons, and then it crosses midline, and then it travels contralaterally through your trigeminal lemniscus, which is right next to your medial lemniscus, and it synapses at your ventro posterior medial, or VPN nucleus of the thalamus, travels through your pelic, and then it synapses at your post-central gyrus. Here we're looking at the spinal thalamic tract, which includes your pain, temperature, and crude touch, and specifically the type of pain we're talking about is fast pain. So to start, we have, like before, for your dorsal column, you have your upper body and your lower body, and let's pretend you're in the legs. So mechanoreceptors from your legs synapse at uh, rex lamina 1 and rex lamina 2. Rex lamina 1 is from your marginal nucleus. Rex lamina 2 is substantia gelatinosa, and then it uh, crosses midline at your anterior white commissure, travels up your spinal thalamic tract, Synapses at your ventroposterolateral lateral nucleus of thalamus, or your VPL, travels through your pelic, and then eventually synapses at your postcentral gyrus. It has the same pathway for your arm and posterior one third of the head. So again, synapse at your RL1 and RL2, your two nuclei, across your anterior right commissure, ascends contralaterally through your spinal thalamic tract, synapses at your VPL, goes through your pelic, and then synapses once more at your postcentral gyrus. Now we'll talk about fast pain transmitted from your anterior two-thirds of your head. So like the dorsal column is a little different of a pathway. It enters through your trigeminal ganglion, and then it travels. Uh, it descends ipsilaterally through your spinal tract of five, and then it synapses at the nociceptive part of your spinal nucleus of five. Keep in mind, all of this is your spinal nucleus of five, so we're talking about this part. And then it crosses uh, midline, and then it travels contralaterally through your trigeminal lemniscus of your spinal thalamic tract, Synapses at your VPM, your ventro posterior posterior medial nucleus of thalamus, and then travels through your P leg. Then synapses at your postcentral gyrus. Uh, one thing to keep note of is that your trigeminal lemniscus of your spinal thalamic tract is not called that until it's at the level of your chief sensory nucleus. Next is slow pain, which involves polymodal nociceptors in, com in comparison to fast pain, which involves uh, high threshold mechanoreceptors. Let's start the leg. So you have polymodal nociceptors synapsing with your marginal nucleus and your substantia gelatinosa right here. Then you decusate at your anterior right commissure. You ascend contralaterally through your spinal thalamic tract. And a little bit different here, not only do you synapse at your VPL, but you also synapse at your interlaminar nucleus. And then from there, it's, it's pretty much normal. You go through your pelic, but you synapse at four different locations, which is pretty unique for slow pain. It's postcentral gyrus, SS2, your insular cortex, and also your cingulate gyrus through your alic. So pretty much that's the same pathway also for your posterior one-third head and your arm. So again, you synapse at your substantia gelatinosa and your marginal nucleus. Then you say your anterior commissure, you go up your spinal thalamic tract, synapse at both your VPL and also your interlaminar nucleus. Then you go through your pelic, then you synapse at a lot of different places. So postcentral gyrus is one, your cingulate gyrus, SS2, and your insular cortex. Now we're looking at the anterior two-thirds of your head. So you enter through your trigeminal ganglion, you descend through your spinal tract of five, synapse at the nociceptive part of your spinal nucleus of five, so this part, and then you cross midline diffusively, and then you ascend contralaterally through your trigeminal lemniscus of your spinal thalamic tract. You synapse at your VPM and your intralaminar nucleus of the thalamus, travel through your P leg, and then you synapse at the same four locations as before, so your postcentral gyrus, SS2, insular cortex, and your cingulate gyrus through your alic. Now we're looking at the cortical spinal tract. We're starting with your upper motor neuron at your precentral gyrus, also known as your Brodmann's area four. In this case, we're starting your leg. So you got your upper motor neuron going down, going through your P leg, and then it goes through your cerebral peduncles, sometimes called cerebral cruise, goes through your ventral pons, 
and then meets up at your pyramids of medulla. 90% decusate to form the lateral cortical spinal tracts. Goes down, and then synapses at your lower motor neuron in, in the ventral horn. And then you finally have your alpha motor neuron projecting to muscle fibers of the motor units, let's say in this case, of the leg.